This week's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Good morning, everybody. Um, electric scooters are the only way to travel. <laughs> Actually, I, I, uh, I purchased one of these um, just to pop down to the store because uh, the store's not that far, but you know it takes 20 minutes to hike or walk there. And uh, I was driving there all the time because you know you want to get to the store quick, get something for dinner, and then come back. And uh, so I was going to get a, an electric bike and my friend uh, Wayne at uh, Cybersport, uh, he deals with uh, Brody bikes and, and camera gear as well. And uh, I asked him uh, what he could do for me. And he said he had a couple of electric scooters kicking around. So for those of you that have seen uh, Gavin's video, you'll, you'll notice that I'm mucking about with a scooter and that was this one here this smaller scooter well of course i got the scooter and then my partner karen she wanted one <laughs> so uh, i i uh i gave her this one and i, I got another one here which is a, a bit more powerful of course and has more range which is actually really good so it's able to carry me and my pack and uh I can get about uh, 30 kilometers out of it. So it's great for just coming to local areas. So this morning, uh, Brian's coming, Brian Barnum's come over for the weekend again. And uh, we uh, jumped on the scooters and we've come down to the beach here. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's really good for that. And it's a lot of fun too. So, this morning we've come down to the local beach again um, to photograph these taffany uh, rocks. The, the tide is out, not an awful lot of light. So we're just gonna explore and see what we can find. Isn't it great, eh? So I found a composition and I mentioned it to Brian, isn't it? He steals my comp. as bad as Gavin. Gavin does that too. I find a composition that he runs over and steals it. I tell you. So what we're looking at is um, the clouds are, are just beautiful this morning. Wouldn't you agree? Absolutely awesome. Um, but there's no directional light. Um, but what, what, what we are... Blah, 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 blah. But what we are finding are these pools of water and um, they're reflecting the clouds and there's a little bit of blue sky. So if you look behind me here, up in the sky here, we have a bit of blue happening. So um, it's nice that the, the sky is reflecting in some of these puddles. Um, but I'm just, I'm just waiting for a bit more blue to show up and it looks like it might happen it's too bad we didn't get beautiful light this morning in the clouds because that would have just been awesome but you know um, we're always wishing for things that we never get <laughs> light wise all right so this is the composition that I have and I'm not sure if you can 
see this i'm trying to maneuver around the camera here <laughs> so um there's a, a really great kind of a lead-in line um from the rock and also the reflection of the clouds in the water here the puddle um, i love that separation between the two so these are the things that are important to me uh, i really love this piece of uh, rock at the bottom there as a base and then we have the line coming in diagonally from the right and then it zigzags its way through the frame and i do like the chaos of these boulders at the top but there are several boulders that are important to me that uh, i include in the frame uh, this one on the on the left this one at the top here and uh, these two on the right uh, i don't want those cut off uh, there's a couple of leading lines here. You have this one that comes in here and then it swoops around. And you also have the zigzag that goes up into the corner here. So I think it works and the boulders act as, uh, as lead-ins as well. You'll notice that there's, there's a little bit of a path here so that you can walk all the way through the frame. So it is quite chaotic at the top, but there are areas where you can walk through. The 4x5 format really worked for this image, but after playing around with it for a little bit uh, in Lightroom, I think that I prefer the one-to-one -one or, or square format. And the reason being is that the reflection or the puddle uh, on the left side, I didn't really feel that I needed the whole puddle because it drew away attention from the zigzag pattern in the center, which for me is the most interesting part of this photo. Now, it's not the most exciting photograph in the world and it probably could have uh, done with a little bit of reflected light, perhaps some color in the sky, but I'll often do this. I'll go out with my camera, even on the dullest of days, and just practice my composition. Uh, it really goes a long way, just practice, practice, and uh, I really enjoy finding chaotic scenes or, or busy scenes and trying to make some kind of order out of them, and this was kind of uh, a scenario where that was uh, was going on. So overall, I like the composition. Uh, I like the way that it's turned out and my thought process behind it, I think works quite well. I did dodge the, the central portions where there aren't any rocks just to try and lead you through the frame uh, from the bottom right up to the top left. And I think in that respect, it works quite well. This is a, a really cool feature of this area is all these little pock marks. Uh, they're kind of spread out throughout this whole area on the slabs and in the boulders. Uh, so I'm going to concentrate on those for a little while, see if I can get some pattern shots, point my camera down. Uh, what's really cool uh, is the colors. There's some really nice subtle blues and ready rust colors, especially in some of the cracks. Um, I'm not sure if they'll show up uh, on the camera, but uh, they're really great to look at. Now, as far as the light goes, uh, there is a little bit of directional light, so that's helping quite a bit. Um, if there was full sunshine right now, it probably wouldn't work for me. It'd just be too, too contrasty. Once again, I'd like to thank Squarespace for supporting my channel and sponsoring this week's video. One of my favorite features of a Squarespace website is the ability to quickly and efficiently update a gallery or page either from a desktop computer or while on the fly using the Squarespace app from my mobile device. Loading multiple images onto a page is quick and offers the ability to change a design or page quickly and elegantly without any coding knowledge. Want to sell your products? No problem. Setting up shop is also quick and intuitive. Sound interesting? Why not head over to squarespace.com and try it for free. And if you like what you find, use the code Adam Gibbs for 10% off your first purchase.
Here's another image that falls into the category of experimentation and trying to figure out how to make order out of the chaos. The light wasn't particularly great and uh, it's quite flat, but I really loved the shadows in the uh, upper left pool of water and also the, uh, the textured rock in the lower left. It almost looks like a crocodile coming out of the water. I also find it very useful for me when I'm looking for compositions to look at uh, a scene as uh, shapes and patterns rather than uh, trying to define the subject itself. In this case, I was looking at the curvatures and how the rocks interrelated with one another through the shapes that they formed, the curves and also the difference between lights and darks and contrast. So Brian found this uh, kind of somewhat dried up leaf. You found it. All right, well, I found it, but I didn't want to say that because, you know, I didn't want to take away his, uh, you know, his credit. Uh, so I found this leaf and uh, what's really, really kind of neat about it is that the rock and the water line kind of mimic the curvatures of the, of the leaf. So I thought, we were just talking and uh, figured what we're going to do is Brian's going to take a composition and then uh, I'm going to take a composition of the same thing and, and we'll see uh, what we can what we can come up with and we'll kind of compare results so far uh, you know yeah I'm not well, it makes yeah. up for the compositions I showed you it's not something that week. it's not something that I would go for but you know it's all about the light it is actually, there's a little bit of light coming through. He's going to wait until the light's too harsh for me, and then he's going to... The leaf is reasonably attractive. It's kind of shriveled. It would be nice if it was like a full leaf, but uh, I do like the the nature of the, the way it curves around. The leaf's very small, though, in your frame, or are you just going to blow it up, zoom in on that? Well, I'm actually going to, I'm just giving for the crop. I'm not going to, it's not going to be a heavy crop. I'm literally just. Are you going to take some different versions and then pick the best one? Or are you just going to stick with the one? Let's see how the light changes. I might get down a bit closer. All right. So what we'll do is I'll let Brian, you know, take a few images, you know. <laughs> and, then, and then he can pick his favorite one. And then I'll, uh, I'll have a crack at it. All right, so I've taken my challenge photograph, but <laughs> but uh, Brian's laughing in the background there. But um, to be honest with you, I wish the leaf was just over a little bit more down. So I'm actually going to cheat and move it a little bit. And that's when things start to get a little contrived. Because this, this, was, this was here when we got here, right where we have it but I'm going to move it to there. And let's have a look now. I don't know if it really improves it that much, but let's have a look here. Yeah, it just looks like a piece of leaf litter that should be out of the frame. <laughs> but I'm going to take it anyway. You guys can tell me if it makes any difference. It probably doesn't. I was quite happy with the results from this little challenge. Here is the first raw file. Uh, nothing has been changed. And in the second raw file here, this is after I moved the leaf. And to be honest with you, I actually prefer the one with the moved leaf. And then finally, uh, the processed image. And of course, we can't forget Brian's version. All right, well, the evening is upon us. 
didn't quite get the directional like what we did actually, but I missed it. Um, the composition that I had with the leaf there, um, it, it needed a bit of light. Uh, and then the light, the sun came out, but it wasn't hitting that spot. Um, so I rushed around trying to find another composition and I found one. And then of course, as soon as I set up, the light was gone. It only lasted for a minute or so. So lesson learned, you know, try and set up and predict where the light's gonna come from and uh, make sure that you're all set up and ready to go before the light hits. But in the meantime, I just, you know, we get some beautiful, uh, a beautiful sunset. It's funny, in one of my videos, I had a beautiful sunset, but we're on the east coast of Vancouver Island. A lot of people don't realize that in the summer, on the east coast, uh, we actually get sunrise and sunset because the, the coastline, even though it's the east coast, it somewhat faces uh, the northeast. So sunrise behind me, sunset just over there. Um, but there's some beautiful layers with a bit of color in here. So I've slapped on my 1 to 200 with a 1.4 teleconverter, and I'm just going to try and zoom in on the beautiful colors in the ocean and uh, the, uh, the clouds in the distance to finish the, uh, the, the day off. So thank you ever so much, everybody, for watching this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, if you did, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. It's really helpful. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. All right, till then, bye-bye. of you that would like to support my channel in other ways be sure to head on over to kozubooks.com where I have my third printing of Quiet Light for sale and also Aspen a collection of autumn images from 2020 in a small body of work called a zine go check it out at kozubooks.com Get off the road!